hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here on this channel i do tarot card readings for all zodiac signs so this reading is centered around cancerians energy I want to find out what's coming up for you cancer in the future what you're moving past what you're leaving behind and how you're currently feeling what's currently going on in your energy <coughs> So thank you for being here and I hope you find messages that resonate with you. Please do consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video and sharing it with those that you love. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also if you want to support this channel in other ways you can check out the description box below this video. All right, now let us get started. So, Cancer, what I want to look at for you is Who is thinking about you the most right now, Cancer? I'm honestly getting a Pisces. A Pisces is thinking about you the most right now. We have the Moon, the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor card. So this could be someone that has their own business, has their own platform. So I feel like a Pisces is thinking about you the most. It could be between a Pisces or a Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo or a Capricorn. Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn here. Someone that you walked away from. Who is thinking about cancer the most right now? Who is thinking of cancer the most? We have Pisces coming up again with the hangman energy. Who is thinking the most about cancer and right now? Cards, angels, birds, and guides. It's a strong Pisces energy here thinking about you. Who is thinking about cancer? What are they thinking of cancer? Maybe this is a connection that you had in the past. What is this person thinking of cancer? Maybe they want to come to you to say something to you, move into you, clear up past energy with you. Maybe they feel like they have unfinished business with you, but they're really thinking, concentrating hard on you here. They're, they, they, I feel like even thinking of you, cancer, even thinking of you makes this person feel happy. We have earth energy again here. Balance. So maybe someone may be wanting to have some straighten something out with you financially or just otherwise in, in general. We have the ace, the knight of swords. Who is thinking about cancer the most? Wow, we have another water sign cancer. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Maybe someone wants to come in and offer something to you. Cancer. Who is thinking about cancer? We have Justice card, Libra energy here, balance, law enforcement, um, things working out in your favor, universal energies, angelic presence and guidance here. Who is thinking about cancer the most? No, who is thinking about you? We have temperance card, Sagittarius energy. This could be angelic presence here. Who is thinking about cancer the most right now? This can also be saying, Cancer, that you are focusing on yourself right now, too. So we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone may want to start over with you, have a new beginning with the Justice and the Temperance energy here, Cancerian. Um, with the Page of Cups maybe wanting to send you a message. Want They're thinking of coming into you. They're thinking of being direct, standing up. Like, I think this person is considering rushing into you. They're wondering, should I should I just go in and get cancer? Should I just, just rip off the bandage? Should I just go toward this connection or not? That's what I'm feeling. This person is battling with here. Maybe wanting to have this connection with you and not sure how to come in, right? Maybe you left this person behind. Pisces, Cancer, 
Capricorn, Taurus, and we also have Libra, Earth, Water, Energy, Air, and so who is thinking of cancer the most? Who is thinking of cancer the most? Who, what, what energy, water sign, energy, earth, energy, who is thinking of cancer the most? Here. Who is thinking of cancer the most? All right, could be an earth sign, maybe wanting to give something to you. Earth sign with a gift, possibly. All right. So that's just a bit of a... Uh, just a little bit of information there if you're if you're wondering what's going on if um especially love it's not necessarily love cancer just affection see there's that affection it's love yes it's affection but it's like a little gift it's not it's not everything you know but it's, it's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you Someone may want a new beginning with you, Cancer. The sun energy. Some of you are becoming very successful. Some of you went off to have a new beginning and you're really successful at it. Or you're about to be, you're about to come into stability. Um, so we're going to look at now something very important for you, Cancer. And I want to see what your your angels and spirit guides want you to know in this time right what angels what cancer and angels and spirit guides want them to know in this time what should cancers know oh i feel they're saying remember you're very intuitive here abundance with your intuition your, your magical gifts your power angels first guides what does cancerians angels want them to know angels birds and guides messages from your angels we have the queen of cup with well, the queen of pentacles energy here any other messages i think they're saying that you're abundant you're maybe independent you're getting what you want you're starting your business you're really focusing on manifesting your financial abundance here some of you could just be you could be alone right now really focusing off in your own world focusing on making money i feel like maybe this method in which you're using is unconventional Cancer angels want cancer to know in this time. I feel somebody may want to come back to you. Someone may find you attractive and may want to come back into you with some offering of saying, hey, marriage is on the table. You know, we could get married, cancer. Hey, um, but maybe i don't know you know when somebody marries someone for their money that's the energy because they're not coming with with a lot to offer you except this marriage card here as if they were sitting around thinking i'm just i'm gonna go into cancer right now and see what i don't know what does your angels want you to know so some justice card someone may find you attractive here see you looking alluring glowing up cancerian manifesting your abundance see you looking single and it's like ooh la la let me go get me some of that and they're coming in with the four ones energy it's like player energy honestly like hey sugar you want to get married but they're not serious it's like it's a beautiful day i'm looking for something dumb to do ooh baby i think i want to marry you you have justice card balance justice card looks pretty upset to me today cancer looks pretty upset P pretty upset with this player energy i'm feeling it, 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 i can't get the energy what it, it feels as if they're saying how dare you who are you what are you doing this person may be breaking rules universally breaking some rules any other messages that cancers, angels, spirits, and guides want cancer to know in this time? Any other messages? 
cancer person, cancer cancer person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, working, working, someone that works with their hand. Maybe their your person was blocked or is taken out of your life. Uh, it's for a good cause. Maybe you're the one that did this cancer and because you're very intuitive. Right, let's get a little bit into this. A little bit. But cancers, angels, spirits and guides want cancer to know. Especially about the future. I feel like your future is going to be really happy. And I want you to visualize that cancer and visualize all the potential there for you within your future. I saw the Ten of Cups energy, so also expect good things to come to you. I want you to um, continue expecting things to work out for you. Always expect things. Never feel like there's no life. There's always life, so always expect that. Once there's life, there's hope. Expect things to always work out for you. That's the energy I'm getting. Okay, Queen of Swords, somebody blocked someone in the past. Someone moved away, traveled. Someone may be coming into your world currently. I feel like in this phase currently, Cancer, and you may get a, an opportunity to travel. Someone may want to travel to you. Look at this. Maybe wanting a brand new beginning with you with the sun energy here. It could be Virgo with the hermit energy wanting to come into your world. And I feel like they're bring, they want to bring with them this sun energy, which is material success and abundance. They want to bring this into your world. As if they're traveling into another world, a new beginning or wanting this new beginning with you. And they're coming to you, maybe sorry, regretful. And they're coming with their everything as if they're saying, this time I'm promising to give you all of this material success, this successful marriage. I promise to bring it to you clearly this time. But Cancer, the, the world energy is your card or your energy. I feel you're open. You're ready to receive. Not necessarily from this person. You're ready to look at offers that are coming into you. But you're not necessarily um, really focused or intending to receive these. You know what I'm saying? It's more like, oh, let me hear what you have to say. You're being very graceful too. That's the energy. Wanting balance in your life in many different aspects. So you're open to receiving with the world card. And that is so beautiful to see. And um, we'll see where this takes you. Or you will see. You. You're being open. Let's see what your future energy is. Walking away, disconnecting again, following your heart, trusting your intuition to move away from any relationship, romantic or business that is not serving you. you calling on the angels, spirits and guides, the higher energy forces to really guide you along your journey here. Letting you know that the decisions that you're making are working out for you. So just trust. Yes, trust with the strength card here. Trust and follow your heart. Cancerian. That's what these are the messages from your angels, right? Trust with the strength energy. Some of you could be Leo Cupses here, um, like myself. So right on the cups of Leo Cancerian. So tap into that strength, your grace. I was saying grace with the world card. I'm seeing grace here because you can turn any situation to positive with grace, you know. Um be be humble or um yeah, yeah that, that, that spirit of humility here, grace, charm. I think you're still you're walking into your truth. Look at this. I feel like you're walking away. You did achieve this separation. So this person was in your life. You walked away, earth sign. You decided to be alone on your journey, cancerian, water sign, trusting in your intuition. And you look at what you're coming into, manifestation. This is this is magician energy with the infinity card abundance as if you want for nothing because the world is yours. Cancerian, beautiful. And these are the messages from your angels. I feel like whatever advances wanted to come toward you, you're, you're not really paying attention. You're focusing more on the things that you can achieve for yourself in this time. 
yeah walking away from a connection that caused you a broken heart definitely moving on the ten of swords in reverse that means the dawn is breaking whatever spell that our cloud or illusion that you were living under in a connection in the past it's over it's done with you you've moved yourself out of that vibration the cycle is done cancer and with the ten of swords coming in reverse and you are moving on looking beautiful taking what you have with you what the lessons that you've learned to move forward the judgment card here is telling me once again that this was meant to happen this separation to know to know like the angels had to intervene and say no enough is enough cancer there's more to life than this so you started to trust your intuition in order to separate from pain you started to listen more to the feelings within your body listen more to yourself with a two of swords energy so that you know where to move to or where to move from right knowing how to stand up for yourself the moon energy the death card things ending something came to light that caused you to shift it's as if the the moon the full moon came the tide rose and it washed away some carried away something with you so with this full moon energy that we're experiencing now cancer within your space your time use this carefully to um release toxic vibrations feelings thoughts past hurt trauma baby do not take these with you in your next cycle do not do not do not it's brand new it's 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 saying you lived your experiences that's good but it's time to end things to clear out certain fucked up energy that may still want to come around and play a toy around with you if you carry this energy of hurt from your past with you you may attract the same people and that's what this is saying to me even though you're working on yourself and you want you feel good there's still sometimes energy stuck in us that cause us to still attract low vibration people to us like people that think they can come in just to have sex or some kind of uh, low vibrational interaction with no meaning cancer i know that's not what you want really come on so why i i'm so happy honestly i love seeing the death card the moon energy here the strength and the six of swords the just the judgment so all things are closing out as i said remember use your powers your intuition your water energies to heal to ask for clearance of all the energies from past so let's do this cancer let's let's do this <sighs> take a breath focus we're clearing out all energies of past hurt trauma betrayal experiences that still rest within our energetic energetic space that seems to be burdensome and affects our manifestation affects our abundance affects our ability to move forward we're giving all of this energy to the full moon in this um in this energy allowing it to take this energy away from our emotions so that we can experience new things welcome in brand new experiences all right so that's that's it right out right out clear out clear out all the energy that's not serving you right that's what i'm feeling death energy moon energy beautiful beautiful so get ready for this transformation because you are clearing out this trauma that is stuck in you let's go let's go it's time for it to end Sometimes we even try to bargain with our traumas. Like, can I keep this part? Can I keep this memory? Can I keep this experience? No. You know, with the moon card and the death energy, it's saying, clear it out. Experience newness. With the sun energy coming out, I feel like it's saying, have a vision for your future. And um, do what it takes to take care of your mental health, your strength, your figure because you are alive and you're here for a reason cancer so let's start living up you have all the energy on your side the universe is always on your side here all right let's get started with this new life ahead for you thank you so much for being here leaving this message here for you cancer and happy happy wonderful birthday all the best for you may financial success health wealth prosperity surround you internally externally and may you power up on that energy blessings and love to you always thank you so much for your support hit that subscribe button and share this video with those that you love give it a thumbs up as well all of these actions um 
actually help to support my channel's growth development so thank you so much for that remember cancer in that other ways to support can be found in the description box if you're interested take a look you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire cancer because you are all with the magician energy represented by the strength card for you infinity you are all and all is within you and I'll see you next time. Can't wait. Much love to you. Take care. Bye.